Hey boys and girls and happy Friday. Today is March 5th and it is our fifth day of Number Corner for March. You're only going to see my face for a few moments today because this video is very quick. The only thing we're going to do is talk about our calendar grid and then update our calendar collector. And then we're done with Number Corner just in time for the weekend. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's look and see. Well, first, <clears throat> let's review what we've noticed so far with our calendar grid. We know we have function machines. We know that the machine is programmed to do the same thing over and over and over again. And so far, what we've learned is that it's not doing the same thing, at least in terms of adding, um, because on day one, it added three. On day two, it added five. On day three, it added seven. On day four, it added nine. Hmm. So can you make a prediction of what you think today's marker is going to look like? What do you think? Is that right? I guess we'll see. I also want to remind you that you guys noticed that these numbers that are in red have increased by three each time. So four plus three is seven plus three is ten plus three is thirteen. And these numbers obviously are increasing by one. So does that make you want to change your prediction or does it confirm what you already thought to be true? All right, well, let's check it out. Is that what you thought? That's exactly what I thought because it seems that the pattern continues adding three from the output number the day before. So now we can go to our recording sheet and we can fill it in. And maybe we can make some predictions about what we think the weekend is going to look like. All right, so on day five, we have 16. And so we know that this time, there's a difference of good 11 so it seems like the difference keeps going up by 2 and the numbers going down this way is um, going up by 3 so then what do we think tomorrow is going to look like tomorrow as in Saturday may have an output of hmm, 19, and then what after that? Good. And then 22 after that. Well, I guess now is a really good time to check that out. Let's do it. So we think it's going to be 19 for the 6 because we know it's adding 3 more. 16 plus 3 should be 19. And then 19 plus 3 is 22. Let's see. Here's... What is going on with my mouse here? Something crazy has happened to my computer today, guys. I don't know what it is. Oh, look, we were right. So Saturday, it is going to put 6 in and then output 19. Perfect. Now, does the difference go up by 2 still? Yeah. This time we have a difference of 13. And let's see if we get 22 for day 7. Oh, we did it, guys. We figured at least the pattern out like this. But can we think about what the, um, what the program is? Do you have any thoughts? So we've been doing ratio tables quite a bit this year, I'm sure. So you might be familiar with it. And if I were to put a ratio table, it could look like this. It's just... Uh, a table that goes like this instead of like this. So 1 to 4. How do I get from 1 to 4? What could I do besides add 3? Maybe I can multiply 4 because anything times a number is that number. So maybe 1 times 4. But if times 4 is the deal, then that means I would be able to multiply this times 4. Can I do it? No, it's 1 less than times 4. What about this one? 4 times 3 
No, that's two less. So maybe we can't do times four. But maybe we can do something else. And maybe the program is not just so simple as add this or multiply this. Maybe it's a combination of adding and something else. Or multiplying and something else. Or, I don't know. I guess we'll have to figure it out. But it's okay. We can take a little bit more time to do so. So, the only other thing that leaves for us to do is um, to update our calendar collector. And on Monday, we finally are going to figure out for sure who has more. We're going to compare. We're going to write some expressions. So that means if you haven't cut your pieces out by now, you need to do so. So that you can glue your pieces down as I glue my pieces down. So let's spin. The first spin is for you. Here we go. Ooh, you got a one-third. All right, let's move it. Y'all see this yellow dot? It's really bothering me. I gotta figure it out before Monday. Okay, and the second spin is for me. Let's see. One-sixth. Which one's bigger, one-third or one-sixth? One-third is definitely bigger than one six because do you know how many six it takes to make a third it takes two six to make one third all right so that's going to conclude our video for today um so i'll see you on monday where we'll finally get to figure out who get my lights to turn back on who has more for the very first week of our collection whole five days worth you guys have a great weekend. Be safe, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.